Hello, 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 hello. Thank you for tuning into Born Star Watch. Born Star. Not that's not the song. Thank you for tuning into Born Star Talk. Born Star Talk. We watch together. Today is Hump Day. It's Wednesday. Two more days left to the end of the week. Woo woo. Enjoy my life because I work from home. I wish you did too, so you didn't have the struggles of dealing with rush hour traffic or traffic or people that suck at driving or walking outside of your house and having to put on like a robot suit and dressing up in hills and dresses and skirts and like dress pants and all that crap that no one wants to wear don't miss it and I'm never going back to it saying it and I mean it um it is Wednesday, and we're going to be talking about some fun conversations. I felt like yesterday was a great talk with me making fun of the Kardashians. And although I made fun of that crappy show that I don't miss, and I don't even remember where I left off in it, I'm still going to wear my Kylie Mate bad... What is the name of this one? Bad little thing gloss I got here. And I'm still going to wear it and feel really beautiful about myself and not feel bad about the fact that I don't like the show, because I don't. Um, but... We're going to be talking about something different today. We're going to be talking about how streaming has become incredible and fun. Man, let me just tell you that Netflix is the bomb. So is Amazon Prime. So is Hulu. So is Shudder. And and so is HBO Max. And so many others. There's Crackle and there's a lot of other ones that I can't remember the name of right now. There's so many of them I can't even talk about them. Dude, streaming when you're bored is amazing because netflix has everything and you can just watch that all day like literally there's like a million things on there and there that a new amazing show that's actually phenomenal that we watched last weekend uh so good oh this past weekend it's so good oh my god you know i like superhero things this was right up the alley and netflix has been doing really crappy jobs with some of their original products but this was This was definitely worth the wait, man. It was really phenomenal. And I just got to tell you, like, if you're looking for something good, flick on Netflix, man. You're going to like what I found. It is phenomenal. I just think we've talked about this. TV can't compete. Netflix made Blockbuster go out of business. And Netflix will make people give up on TV. What do they need it for? Well... Well, I need TV because I like sports and I like other things that you can't find on Netflix that you have to have TV to look at. Literally, you don't need TV. I just think streaming and the ability to be able to see this stuff on an Amazon TV or a Apple TV or any of these devices is it's only going forward from here. I'm not sure how long Xfinity is going to last or Cox or any of these cable providers until people realize that they don't need them. I'm not saying that's going to happen today or tomorrow, next year, next month or whatever. But I'm saying at some point, are they even going to exist anymore? Is this going to be just some part of history that we tell our great, great grandkids like, Before, there used to be cable. Now, you can just watch whatever you want whenever you want it to. Before, we used to go to movie theaters. And now, there are no movie theaters. That's going to be another piece of history, too. Watch. But, um... I don't know. I think streaming really is not incredible and amazing. And it's fun. Having the ability to do watch parties and have Netflix nights. It's just really great. And why would you want anything but that? Um... Next, we're going to be talking about how Amazon is taking over video games with Luna. I signed up. It's $5.99 a month, and I want my controller, and I'm going to become like a gamer again, and I'm so excited. I already have enough video games in my house anyways, but I'm definitely going to enjoy this, and um, no apologies. I I can't believe they picked me to become one of the people from one of the first people to uh, join Luna. I was one of the exclusive picks for that, and I got, like, a super cool deal on it. I think it's only, like, four bucks a month for it, and you get to play whatever games you want on there. And I'm really excited about it, and I want that controller. It is amazing. 
then I know you're thinking, how are you going to have time to play video games? And you work all day and you have a podcast and you're doing a bunch of other things too. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm a nerd and I love video games, so I will find a way to do it. Watch me. That's what the weekends are for. Video games and storage wars. I'll find a way to do it. I bet you I will. I bet you I will. Anyways, I'm excited about it. I think Luna is going to take over. Um, you know, it's too bad GameStop ended the way it did, but I mean, it, it, it couldn't compete. So it had to do what it did. I don't know. I mean, now it's online and I don't know how that works out, but do you think I could get money for selling my Wii U or how much money could I get for that? Cause typically I would bring it to GameStop to see what they would give me, but and I can't do that. So there's that. So bummer. But I used to love the game store. GameStop vibe like I felt like I belonged in there when I was talking about Call of Duty with a bunch of other gamers and it just felt right and now I don't have a place to do that at and I know there's discords and all that stuff online but it's not the same thing as seeing bros in the store but whatever but definitely this Luna thing is amazing and if you don't know what it is do some research and find out about it anyways that is our topic of the day Thank you for tuning in to another pod of Star Wars Talk, Star Wars Talk. We watch together. I will see you tomorrow on Thursday, where we will talk about other fun things that we're not going to talk about right now. And if you're looking for a fun video game to invest in or get, or you want to be like a gamer like I am, you should look into getting the original Nintendo. And if you're looking for a good show to watch from the 90s, that was one of the best shows that ever was on television, you should watch X-Files from the beginning. Mulder and Scully will definitely have your mouth wide open thinking, what was that? Every episode, you'll be feeling like that. So give it a try. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Later, guys. And thank you for being a star and watching as a star, too. Bye.